This Math and Minute video is on adding and subtracting fractions, finding a common denominator. So in this problem, we are going to add fractions. And when you're adding fractions, you need to have a common denominator. So we know 4 is a fraction of 8, so we are going to make our common denominator 8, 3 eighths, because we're not going to change that. But I'm going to multiply my second term by 2 over 2. 1 times 2 is 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. So now that I have a common denominator of 8, I can set this equal to 5. My numerator I add across, and I keep my common denominator. So that's how we would solve that problem. So in this equation, we are going to subtract fractions. And again, we need to find a common denominator. We're going to use our strategy least common multiple to find a common denominator. So if I had 6, so 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. And then let's look at 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So now I look and I have a common multiple of 12. So that's what I'm going to use as my common denominator. So in order to make my 5, 6, have a denominator of 12, I'm going to have to multiply 2 over 2, which is like multiplying it by 1. So I would get 10 over 12. And in order to get my second term, 1 fourth, to have a denominator of 12, I need to multiply 3 over 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. So now I have my common denominator of 12. And I can just subtract my numerator, I would get 7 over 12. So that's how to get a common denominator. You might want to use your least common multiple strategy. And when you have your common denominator, you can subtract across the numerator and then leave the denominator the same.